Is this a final final? This is the last one of this series, yeah. But Raul is going to do a like a full body workout. I think it's going to be on Mondays. Okay. So yeah. there's always that one for at least for now. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll just wait a minute or so and see who else pops in, and then we'll get going. How are you doing? I'm living the dream, you know. Are you? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, you know, it's challenging, but it's uh, um, uh, I'm very lucky. I'm, you know, I'm not. There's a lot of people who are really suffering, and yeah, it's you know, true. So yeah, it's inconvenient for me, and yeah, and not efficient. But by no means am I going to complain. Yeah. And how about yourself? I mean, you guys, your business must be really hurting. Same. We're, we're doing okay. I mean, we're hanging in there. We're essential. So we're still seeing patients. Um, we're doing these telehealth type visits and we're just trying to, yeah, make it work in this current situation. Yeah. But yeah, I'm doing okay. So, well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> and uh, I still got my same issues, basically, all four corners to... Yeah. <laughs> Two shoulders, two hips. And your hips. Yeah. Okay. But so I, ro I rotate. Uh, yeah. Take so, turns. Yeah. I'll get work on one and then I'll, something else will go out. And yeah. Around. <laughs> Just got to keep it interesting, you know, keep them guessing. Well, yeah. Keep the body guessing. Yeah. <laughs> Just try to stay ahead of it. A little, try a little bit. All right. Okay. Well, let's get started. We're going to start with our next stretches. Very simple. So we're going to, if you have the handout, you can kind of follow that, but we're going to yeah. start with like a little chin tuck. So we're tracking the chin and then we're going to turn the head one way. So we're going to turn as best we can. Nice. Chin tucks. Do that. Come back to center. Tuck that chin again and then turn the other way. And then back to center. Tuck and turn, and back to center, tuck and turn, Get back to center, and rotate, and center, and rotate, and center, couple more each way, turn, And center. A lot of creaking going on. A lot of creaking, a lot of clicking, clacking. Nothing's falling off though, so I guess we're okay. <laughs> One more to the right. And center. And left. And center. Okay, now we're gonna side bend, so tuck the chin, bring your ear towards your shoulder. And center. And tuck the chin. And tilt the other way. Good. And center. And side bend. And center. And side bend. And center. And right. What? Good. Back to center. And left. I went the other way. Oh, whoops. It's okay. As long as you get the other way on the next one. Good. Couple more. Tuck and tilt. Yeah, we're, we're still doing our side bends. Back to center. Chin tuck and tilt. Good. Back to center. One more time each way. Doesn't matter. You can pick which side you want to go to. And back to center. And to the other side. Perfect, and back to center. Okay, we'll kind of roll the shoulders a little bit and then we're gonna grab a band and find a wall. All right, so grab a band. Here you go, Byron. We're gonna do some wall walks. So you take your band, we're gonna use this column right here. Yeah. Okay, and you're gonna take the band in your hands. If you've got the loops, you can use the loops. If not, you can just kind of like hold it between your thumb and your fingers. 
when I you're going to put your elbow, this, the pinky side of your arm, against the wall at about shoulder height. It's like a door frame or something or a wall? A door will work, sure. Just something flat. You're going to be kind of walking up the wall. So make sure that it's, it's steady, okay? Okay. All right. So before you start, you're going to give your shoulder blades a little bit of a squeeze. You're kind of pulling out slightly into the band and then slowly keeping your blades anchored against your back. You're gonna walk your forearms up the wall. Okay, so anchoring the blades, keep tension in your strap. Sorry? How does the, the band not go? Does the band stay where, like I wrap it around the, the handles? You can wrap it around your hand, yeah. If you don't have handles, you can take the band and then walk it down, Byron. Okay. If you don't have handles, you can take the band and just kind of loop it, you know, so that it's here and then loop it here and then you've got like that. I'm with, I'm with you. Okay. Good. So anchor your shoulders and walk it up. Constantly pressing. It's hard to do this. It's harder than it looks. Yeah. Good. And walk it down. Great. Keep anchoring. Walk it up. It's hard to keep your shoulders down. Right, so you're only going to go as high as you can go without hiking your shoulders up. So keep squeezing the blades together and down. And then only go as high as you can go without hunching your shoulders or without losing that little squeeze of your blades. So it's going to be different for everybody depending on how stiff we are, um, how much control we have of our shoulder blades. We're going to do four more walks. So squeeze the blades, walk it up. and walk it down. Good, and walk it up. Great, and down. And up. Good, and down. Oh. <laughs> He's just going to do one more and then we're going to move on. Just stay right where you are, Brad. I think it's good. Okay, walk it up. And walk it down. And keep drawing those blades down and back. Okay, great. All right, you can take a little break. And now you stay where you are, but we're going to come over to our column because we're going to do some external rotation with our band. So we're gonna come over here so we can tie our band. Let's see if I can get that. So we're gonna tie our band around this little post here. Yeah. And shoulder level, waist level? What um, it doesn't matter, it can be waist level, it can be above shoulder level, you just don't want it like below the waist. So pretty much waist or above. So we're gonna tie ours right here. All right, I'm putting it on the handle. Okay, and then, oh, thank you. Okay, so you're gonna just take one of the straps, doesn't matter which one, and again, it can be above you, it can be at the level of your waist, doesn't matter. If I remember this over here. All right, and then if you have one, you can take a little towel and roll it up and place it under your elbow. Okay, perfect. So you're gonna give your shoulder blades a squeeze, okay? And once you've got that little shoulder blade squeeze, you've got your elbow in by your side, you're gonna rotate out. So he's gonna rotate out, pulling the strap, good, and then back to neutral. There, good. So squeeze your blades, rotate out, nice and slow, and back to neutral. Good. Rotate out and back to neutral. And out and back to neutral. Great, keep going. So just make sure you keep squeezing your shoulder blades against your back so that the front of your shoulder stays nice and open. Let's do five more on this side and then we'll turn around and do the other side. Good, rotate out. 
Good. Out. And three. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't mind? <laughs> Just a little picture for prosperity's sake. Keep going. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Okay, good. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other arm. So we'll just turn all the way around. Okay, so I'll move the computer here so you can have a better view. And Byron is going to turn around and do the other side. Oh, okay, but they're like, there we are. This, oh, this is today. This <laughs> Sorry. So give the shoulder blades a squeeze. He's got his towel roll under his elbow and he's in that 90 degree position. So squeezing his shoulder blade. Now you're going to rotate out, keep that blade squeezing and come back in to neutral. Good. And rotate out and back in. Good. Rotate out and return. Sorry, Mari, I didn't get yeah. the email, so I didn't know it started oh, at Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we started at 1.15 today, but we're recording, so you can always get yeah. the beginning. Okay, I just talked sure. to Amanda because it was oh. very confusing. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Okay. And I, so I didn't get the handouts either, so I'll just oh, no. do my best. Okay. This is our last one with the band, so let's do three more on this side, and then we're going to grab some free weights, okay? Good. And one time. Okay, perfect. And then let's relax. So we did a little rotator cuff. We did a little extra rotation. You can let the band be. And then where I'm going to grab a couple free weights because now we're going to do um, flexion in the scapular plane or scaption. So let's do so Byron's going to do four pounds, but you can do two pounds, you can do three, you can do zero. It doesn't matter. So just grab a couple. Your elbow is going to be straight on these, so just make sure it's not too heavy because you have to control what your shoulder blades are doing. Okay? So we're just kind of waiting until people pass through. So you can sit or stand, doesn't matter. He's going to anchor his blades against his back, so shoulder blades against your back. Your arms are going to be, when they come up, they're gonna come up to shoulder height, but they're at the angle of the scapula, which is basically a 45 degree angle out to the side. So not all the way up this way and not forward, but right in between, okay? So both arms together, squeeze the shoulder blades and raise the arms. Shoulder height with the thumbs up and control it back down. Good, squeeze your blades and raise. Don't hunch your shoulders and back down. Really good, so we're controlling our blades, we're raising those arms, and slowly lowering. Perfect, anchor and raise, and down. Good, anchor and raise, and down. Keep those up, those nice, great, we got five more to go. Squeeze your blades. Nice and smooth. Good. And squeeze. Great. And squeeze and lift. Great, let's do two more. Job. One more time. Squeeze your blades together. Hold it right there. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Perfect. Great. Awesome. So you can kind of roll the shoulders around a little bit. Sometimes they get a little tight. And then we're going to keep our dumbbells and we're going to do some I's and some T's. So you can either lie on the mat or you can sit. I'm going to have Byron sit in the chair. Or you can use the Swiss ball, the big ball if you have it, and put your chest over the ball. So I see, Brad, you've got one right there. That's perfect. But we will demonstrate this in the chair. Okay. So 
Byron's going to sit in this chair right here. And what he is going to do, I'll kind of wait till everyone's ready. How he's going to do this is he basically, he's going to fold in half. So he's going to bring his chest over his knees. So he's going to hinge from the hips and the waistline, and he's going to put his chest over his knees. So if you're over a ball, you're over a ball. Tuck his chin so that he's nice and neutral. He's going to bring his arms straight by his side. Okay. And then he's going to squeeze his shoulder blades together and bend the arms. And he's going to hold that. So we're doing a hold of 10 seconds for five sets. Okay. Squeeze your blades, anchor it in, and hold for five. No, we're holding 10 seconds. Five. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slowly relax. You can come up from your position if you need a little break, or you can kind of melt over your ball if you want. And then we're going to get ready and we're going to do our second set. So again, he's seated, so he's going to fold his chest over his knees, chest down. He's going to tuck his chin, he's going to squeeze his shoulder blades and bring those arms back and he's going to hold that position for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax, take a mini break. Good, and fold in half. We're going to get back into our position. So chest down, chins tucked. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, elevate those arms, and hold that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Perfect. We got two more to go. Fold in half, chest over knees, tuck your chin, squeeze your blades, elevate those arms. Ready? And hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly relax. We're going to do one more eye. Okay, fold in half, get your chest down, tuck your chin, squeeze your blades together, and lift those arms, and hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and relax, perfect. So we just did some I's and then we're gonna do a set of five T's. So T's are gonna be arms out to the side with the thumb facing up. So I'll move this a little bit so you have a better view. So the position is the same. You're gonna bring the chest down over your knees. Okay, tucking the chin. And now his arms are gonna come out to the side of his body, okay? like a little airplane, he's gonna squeeze his blades and he's holding that, okay? So we're gonna hold that for 10. Squeeze the blades, hold your position for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly relax. Take a little moment, very good. So just make sure that when you're doing that, you always initiate from your shoulder blades, you're gonna squeeze those together and just let the arms follow and hold, okay? So we're gonna get in our position again, chest is down, chin is gonna tuck, arms are out to the side with the thumbs facing up, right in line with the shoulders, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly come down. Okay, good, let's do that again. So chest is down. Chin tuck, arms out to the side, thumbs are up, squeeze the blades. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly relax. You've got two more sets to go. How's everyone doing? Thumbs up, we're good? All right. Okay, we're gonna get down, chest over knees. Chin tuck, arms to the side, squeeze your blades. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Okay, last set. Looking good, everybody. <laughs> okay, Byron's getting tired. He's ready to stretch. 
Okay, bring your chest over your knees. Good, arms out to the side, chin is tucked. Squeeze those blades and hold. Two, three, four, five, six. You can do it, seven, eight, nine, 10, and relax. Great job. Yeah, the last few sets there get pretty rough. Awesome. All right, everyone, so we're gonna do a little stretch series. If you have a foam roll, you can use your foam roll. If you don't, you can just lie flat on a mat, but you're gonna lie with the foam roll from your head to your tailbone. So we're gonna lie on it the long way, okay? So I'm gonna come over here by the mat, and then we're gonna do our little shoulder matrix. So let me grab a foam roll. Right now. Okay, so if you have a foam roll, awesome. If not, just lay flat. You want your head at one end? So your head at one end, your tailbone at the next. So here comes Byron, he'll show you. That's it. And make sure your head is on the roll, okay? We don't want your head hanging off and getting all messed up again. <laughs> okay, are we all in a good position? Okay. So we're gonna start with um, our arms in front of our, our pelvis, okay? We're gonna take a nice deep breath in and the arms are gonna reach up and out to a V. So he's gonna inhale, reach up and out to a V. Exhale, bring it back down over his belly button. Good, inhale and reach. Exhale, return. Inhale and reach. Exhale, return. Inhale and reach. Exhale, return. A lot of clicks. <laughs> Lots of clicking. We've got more clicks. Inhale, reach. The clicking's okay as long as it's not painful, okay? okay. And down. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale over your belly button. Great job. A few more of those. And back. One more time. And exhale down. Great, so now we're gonna do a little swimming arm. So we're just gonna have the arms then by your side. Good, doesn't matter which arm you lead with. On the inhale, one's gonna reach up. So reach up with one arm. On the exhale, we're gonna switch it. Reach up with the other and down. Great, inhale, reach. Exhale, switch. Inhale, reach. Try to reach long through your fingertips. Grow as tall as you can. Exhale. Inhale, reach. And you try to keep your shoulders down. Right? right, keep those blades back against the roll or back against the mat. Keep your chest open. Exhale, down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, switch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, switch. Good, three more of those. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last breath, inhale. Exhale. Perfect, great. So now we're gonna bring our arms down and for our last little position here, we're gonna make um, an L with the elbow, so 90 degrees, and we're gonna bring them towards each other. So our forearms are coming together. So that's your start position. On the inhale, you're gonna open straight out to the side. So open that chest, inhale, let it open, 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 reach back, reach back, reach back. Exhale, bring it back together. Good, inhale, open. 
Exhale, close it. Inhale, open. Exhale, close it. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And then I'm just going to have you open it up one more time. So arms out to the side and just let it hang. Find a nice tight spot and just let it open up. And just breathe naturally. Let your belly rise and fall. Diaphragm is going to open up those ribs. Okay, wonderful job, everyone, and slowly relax. Okay, we are all um, on. Mari, is that, those foam roller ones, I assume they're also good for my thoracic spine. They're amazing for your thoracic okay. spine. Yeah, great. they're great. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Really, they're really good at getting all of this kind of moving and, and opening us up. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you right. so much you for these welcome. last few weeks. Yeah, you're Bye. welcome. I miss you guys. So remember, Raul has a full body class. If you want to take that, it's going to be on yeah. Mondays. You'll yeah. get the answer. Okay? Nice working with everybody. Feel better. All right, bye. Bye. Oops.